In today's show, we're going to learn how to send an email from Power Apps. It's not complicated, doesn't take long to learn, but it took me like an hour to figure it out the first time. So I thought I'll save you that hour and make a quick video. But first, here's our intro. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shane Young with Bold Zebras. Those guys. In today's show, we're going to look at sending an email from Power Apps. So we're going to take the example app that we built in the previous video and we're going to go in and add an, a button. We're also going to add a field for the email address and do all the connection work, which is really the, it's not hard, but finding it the first time was a little tricky for me. So I thought I'd save you some time and just kind of make a cool little uh, send an email video. Should be a lot of fun. So let's just switch over to my desktop. And so here what we need to do is we need to log into Power Apps. I'm going to say sign in. And so here we see, here's all the apps. And so here's the one we built in the previous video. So we're going to click the little edit icon. With the app loaded, we're going to the now navigate to the uh, view item screen because we want to add an email button there, right? We'll just add a button that sends a link to one of our friends from there. Cool. All right, so the easiest way to do that, right, is just to open up the app. So we're going to preview it and then we'll click on one of our items. And so this is the screen I want to add the button to. And so we close that. I right, could have gotten to that by navigating over here on the left, but I always like to kind of just go and find it in the preview and then come back. It just makes it a little easier for me. And so here, if you remember, we've got a simple detail form control. And so that's where all this data is coming from. That's how it's being displayed. And so we want to add the button to that particular control. So what we're going to do is we're going to say data sources. There's our current data source. And we're going to click on detail form one because in order to utilize this item, which is what we want to specify the link from, we've got to be inside of the uh, form to take advantage of it. And so what you're going to do now is, so we'll keep all these, is we will click these little ellipses. And we're going to say, add a custom card. So that puts a new card on our form. We'll make it a full size here. And so then now that we've got a card, we're going to go up here to go insert. And the first thing we'll do is we'll insert a button. And we'll just bring this down. Grab it right there, there we go. Okay, and so with our button, we're gonna edit the text. And we'll say, email a link. All right, so there we go, we got the text, that was easy. And then what we wanna do is up here on the top, we need to do on select. And for on select, what we need to do is we wanna send an email. Uh, we're gonna use the Office 365 Outlook connector. Now, if you start to type in Office 365, right, you get the squiggly marks. It means it doesn't know what we're trying to do. The reason for that is because we have to add a data connection first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to File. We're going to say Connections. And so here, it's going to, it actually opened up a separate window for us. We need to add a new connection. So say New Connection. And then up here in the search box, I'm going to type in Office. And so then there is the Office 365 Outlook connection. So we're going to hit the plus symbol over here. It says, hey, this lets you do things with your Outlook. Do you want to do it? Yes, I do. So say create. And then now it's going to try and authenticate you and choose how you can get in there. And so for me, that is the account. So I'll pick my account. And so it's going to churn. It's authorizing all that. You may get logins depending on how you've saved things. So your experience might be slightly different there, but the key message is, is we're trying to authorize Power Apps to work with Outlook. And so that's what we did. So once you've done that, you're back to here. Cool. And so now if we go over to our um, apps, right? We'll hit the little back arrow. Now Office 365 still doesn't work, right? We'll delete it and make sure. Still not a thing. Okay, so the reason for that now is you need to go back here to your friend view and then data sources. And so even though we have the connection, now we need to add our data source. This is the part that I really struggled with. So click add a data source. And notice you could create the new connection here. The problem is you don't get the search, so you gotta scroll for an hour, that doesn't make for a good video, so that's why I did it the other way. But you could absolutely use this button as well. So there is the new Office 365 Outlook connection that we've done. So we'll click on that guy. So this makes that data connection available to us. So now if we go back to our little button, and we click on him, right, on select. Now, oh, look at that. We type in Office 365. We start getting suggestions. We'll do Office 365 dot. There is our friend send email. All right. 
So then now it's gonna prompt us working through the function. So our first one, let's make it pretty easy. So we're just gonna hard code all this, right? So we'll go to chain at um, boldzebras.com. Now notice I put the quotes around that, right? Because it's text input, so you've gotta make sure you put it in quotes, which is gonna break. We'll do a comma, the subject is our first Power Apps email, and we will fix the O. I don't know why I like to capitalize O's, but I do. Boom, and then for the body, our email message here. Message, see I can't type, typing is hard. Just like that, and we'll close it out. Looks good to me, so what we'll do is we'll hit our preview button. And there's a nice little email link button, which we haven't actually set up that, but it should send an email anyway, so we'll click that. All right, if you looked, you saw some dots go across the screen real fast, so we'll close this out. And then I will hit pause for a second while I go over and grab the email out of my inbox. Okay, and so here's our first email. Our email message is here, woohoo! Um, it probably takes, you know, 10 seconds or so to get through. The other thing to watch out for is sometimes when I'm testing these, they go into my junk mail. So make sure you're checking there too before you just get mad and go, why doesn't this work? And then you yell, get off my lawn. All right, so anyway, we'll close out that. And so now we've seen how to send a simple email message. Let's make it a little complicated, right? Let's pay you for uh, spending some time with me. So we'll go down here and inside my card still, right? I'm going to do another insert. And this time we're going to do a text input. And so in this text input, right, we're gonna put an email address or let the user put an email address and then uh, send the email to that address. So we don't want any default text for that. So I'll clear that out. But one of the cool things you do, hit the little drop down over here, oh, hit the drop down over here, is there is a hint text. Ah. Oh. And we'll type, type email address here. Cool, cool. Okay, so we got that set up, that, that, that. So then now let's go over here to our email link. And so instead of to a hard-coded chain at bold zebras, let's get rid of that. And what we wanna do is we wanna send it to text input one, right? The box we just created. So we'll say text, in, oh, text input one, there it is, boom. All right, so I think that all looks good to me. Best thing I can do for you at this point is hit the preview button. Let's type in an email address. We'll do Shane at Bold Zebras again. And we'll say email link. And then we'll pause for a second while I go grab it on my mailbox. And look at that. There's an email message to the email address that we sent specified in the box. Woohoo! We are kicking butt, guys. All right, let's do, let's do a little more. Let's have more fun. So we'll close that out. We'll close this out. And so this time, what I want to do so right now, what are we doing? We're sending an email to whatever they type in this box. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got a subject there, so we could do the same type of thing. We could create a text input for a subject line, give them the option of doing that. You know how to do that. I'm not going to demo that. But so then now what I want to do is I want to update the body. And so on the body, I want to actually send a uh, link to our thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our email message here. This is the link. All right, I put a space there. That's going to become important in a second because we want the format to look right. So then now, at the end of that line, we're going to do an ampersand. So that means, you know, add some more stuff here. And for that, we're going to do this item dot link. So keep in mind, right, this item, that specifies the item inside the form. That's why we did the card. We added this as a custom card inside of that form so we could use this item. Um, also remember that I did this item link, but you could send any of your SharePoint values. So anything, if you want to send, you know, the color was blue and the animal is dog, all of that information is available to you by specifying this item. You could just keep concatenating, you know, adding strings in there. So you could make a pretty complicated email if you really wanted to. That's for another day for you to figure out, but that's a good look at it. So with all that done, let's hit preview. So Shane at Bold Zebras is still here. We could clear it out and type it in again, but then you have to watch me type. You don't want that. So we'll click email link, and then we'll pause for a second. We'll go grab it out of my mailbox. And look at that beautiful thing, right? So we got a two. We've got our email message here. This is the link. Our first Power Apps email the subject. We have crushed it. We have sent a useful email from inside of Power Apps.
All right, last thing I want to talk about, we won't even do it, we're just going to talk about it for a second. So when we go over here to email a link, if after you're done with everything in your body, if you hit a comma, then it will show you all the optional input. So these are all the things that you could do. You don't have to, right? We've shown we send emails about them. But if you wanted to have a from or a CC or a BCC or attachments, uh, set an important, important level, you know, is HTML, you have the ability to control all of that. So anyway, hopefully that gives you lots of ideas of more complicated emails you could do. Now that we've done all this, we clearly want to save our app again and then publish it off for uh, future use. But hopefully this has helped you with things you can do with uh, Power Apps. And um, as always, you know, give me a little subscribe or the like if you like it. Let me know what other content you'd like to see. I always enjoy making these for you. So thanks. Have a great day. Hey, it's me again. Just a reminder, if you don't mind, click the old subscribe button over here. That always helps me out. Or if you want to work together, you can always hit me up through the bold zebras. Or if really what you want is some more of these power app videos, which is probably what you want, then the playlist is somewhere on the screen here. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.